Technology is making it easier for the bad guys and harder for police. Compromising and, and obscene positions to satisfy some uh, perverse desire of his, and uh, they use Facebook uh, as a way of doing this. Tonight, the defenders expose a shocking child porn case with ties to right here in Michigan. And you heard that right. According to federal documents, this man used Facebook to lure girls into sending explicit images. And they say the Michigan man was a part of it, and what he admits to is downright disgusting and very disturbing. There's something about a small town. You feel like you know your neighbors just a little better. You know what's going on. But neighbors in Shaftesburg, just outside of Lansing, were adamant when they told the defenders they don't want to talk about what happened here with one of their own, 60-year-old Jeff Lamb. Here we have uh, a guy in the United States exploiting a bunch of children. Keith Corbett is a former federal prosecutor. He's seen a lot in his day. This case, he admits, even troubles him. He basically uses Facebook to order up poses of young girls. According to this federal indictment, Jeff Lamb would use Facebook Messenger, a free instant messaging service, to connect to children in the Philippines. Their economic situation may be even more dire than most of the people here. According to the indictment, Lamb repeatedly requested images and videos depicting minor girls engaging in sexually explicit conduct. The investigation shows Lamb received from one minor 143 images and videos during a six-month time span this year, many of the images defined as child pornography. And he sends the money to the Philippines. He instructs the people in the Philippines as to what kind of poses he wants, what kind of age of child he's interested in. In, uh, in this case, some of them were prepubescent girls. According to the indictment, another minor sent Lamb 295 images many of them sexually explicit. Facebook notified the government based upon uh, the information they had that this looked to be questionable, and as a result of that, they were able to locate this gentleman. Federal agents tracked Lamb down to his Shiawassee County home, seized his electronics and thumb drive, and then Lamb admitted to the allegations using Facebook Messenger, sending money, and receiving sexually explicit images and videos of minors. No. No. But when defender cameras showed up to Lamb's home recently, the 60-year-old was not that talkative. He saw our camera, made a quick turn, and then hid in his garage. Door shut, he wasn't coming out. We not only have the exploitation of, of the children in the Philippines, but we have uh, uh, sort of a, uh, a, an effort to feed a need uh, on the part of some people for this kind of material in the United States, which can lead to the generation of the same kinds of activities in this country and the exploitation of young people right here in our own backyard. That is the reality. The next victims could be from here in Shaftesburg or maybe in your town. As they say, sometimes you just don't really know your neighbors. According to the indictment, Lamb estimated he received images and videos from about four different minor girls ranging in age from 13 to 17 over the past two years. His case goes to trial December 16th. It's unbelievable. It's frightening. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Like you said, you just don't know who's mm -hmm. right there.